Okay, we're back in the game. Welcome to Dark Souls Remastered. This is episode 25 of Scholarly Playthrough. Um, the the ba ba ba. I'm recording this a little later, af a little bit longer after, a little bit later than I wanted to after the last episode. There we go. I said words successfully. Um. The other two snake men climbed down the ladder when I got here. That's that's why they're not here. But events transpired immediately after stopping the recording on my last episode. My chair made a loud popping noise. All of the hydraulics, all of the air came out of the hydraulics. The chair sank to the ground and then started tilting every which way at the slightest movement. Uh, it's been kind of wearing down over the past few weeks. Just because it's like five or six years old now. It's not like I'm insanely fat. I am 300 pounds, but... At the same time, the chair is rated to hold 500, so it gave out because it's old. Not because it's... Uh, because I'm fat. We get the Archive Tower Giant Door Key. Which will open uh, the door way up there. Um, but... We're, there's supposed to be... Yeah, you could get up there. I forget how you get up there. Anyways. Yeah. I did have a backup chair. Uh, it's actually more comfortable as an office chair than my actual office chair. I'd never noticed before the chair that I'm currently sitting in I've usually only used to sit in to watch movies. And it kind of makes you sit up. So... I suppose I should have known that it would have been a good office chair, but, you know, whatever. Maybe my broken office chair will be good for watching movies now. Mm, trying to remember which door you have to go into to get onto the platform down below. I think it's just the extra key opens this. Yep. Okay. That was it. And you get the soul of a brave warrior. I think that's it, actually. Yeah. Just the soul of a brave warrior. Not that that's nothing worth having. I just thought it would be something else. Thought it was an item. I guess not. But we did get items. But I tell you what. The Archive Tower Giant Door Key. Key to the giant door leading out from the uppermost floor of Archive Tower, which now serves as a prison. The key's design resembles not the key of a prison. Indeed, the tower was once no prison at all, but a trove of precious tomes. A trove of precious tomes. If it didn't used to be a prison, then why are there so many prison cells? I guess they just, like, cut holes out of where the books go? The tomes? Well, look at the detail there. Those books. This fucking door. What are you doing, man? Why is the texture so good on the door? You can't get close enough to not see more detail. That's insane. The bookshelves, the walls, and the cage bars, that's fine. But the doors, the doors, we need to focus on those. 
<laughs> okay. The tower giant door key. Alright, we're getting out of here today. We're gonna fight Seath. Get wrecked. Alright, let's make sure we got everything over here. Make sure there's no items over here, there's no items over there. Searching for items. We're searching for knowledge. If there is knowledge, we will find it. Made it to the bonfire already? I didn't realize you could get to the bonfire that fast. That's crazy. It's crazy! Um... Now that I'm thinking about it, though... I'm pretty sure... Like, there might be a guaranteed crystal straight sword or crystal shield, which I just remembered... Uh, I picked up a uh, crystal straight sword before I started this video. Um, right there. A fully crystallized straight sword. How such a weapon was created is entirely unknown. The crystallization boosts its attack but makes the blade brittle. The sword cannot be used for long as it cannot be repaired. Does tons of damage but can't be repaired. But, uh, my point when I started talking was that, uh, I believe there's actually no need to go searching for a bunch of items because the only items of note are in, uh, the room behind this wall, which you have to get to the third floor for. Or is it the fourth I guess the fourth floor? Jeez, there's a lot of floors in this place. This is a big place. A maze of turning stairs. Careful on the stairs, they like to shift. Oh, good. They respawn. I forgot they respawn. Now all you gotta do to get to where you need to be is come up here. You turn this. You kill this feller. Somehow by s backstabbing him in the hip. Then you kill this feller by just running up and smacking the crap out of him. Then you jump on this, you turn it around. And bonsai, you got yourself the entrance <laughs> to scenes. Uh, I don't know why bonsai is the word that I chose right there. Bonsai! That's the word I chose to, to show excitement. I... that was really dumb.
I tapped the top of the ladder and just teleported straight down and died. Cool. Good thing that guy's an idiot. Really don't know why I'm getting all this slow down. I guess the stairs reset themselves when you die? And then those, those guys are running away for some reason. That I can't quite place my finger on. Probably a good thing the stairs reset when you die. They might arrange themselves in such a way that you cannot complete the task. If they didn't. There's a lot of detail on these stairs, too. On the floor right here. Oh god. I have to get those back. There's like 69,000 souls right there. That's like two levels. That's two more vitality. But here we have a shortcut to uh, the bonfire. So now we can just uh, run back up here. And we'll get my souls and hopefully this guy won't shoot me off the ladder. Thankfully he just keeps shooting down for some reason. And now he's just plain missing. God, that was almost a really stupid death. Just like the one when I tried to jump back. But now I don't need to, because the bonfire is right outside the open door. We can just homeward bone. And then just run right through. Glorious. I think we're going to kill Seath today. The six-eyed helm of the channelers, the robe of the channelers, the gauntlets of the channelers, and the waistcloth of the channelers. Helm of the channelers, sorcerers that serve Seath the Scaleless, the six eyes arranged in two vertical columns compensate for Seath's lack of sight. The heaviest of protective gear for the sorcerers, and imbued with magic. Rops. Robe of the channel of sorcerers that serve Seath Scaleless, even on the onset of Seath's madness, the Snatchers, as they were often called, ventured to far lands to find suitable human specimens. The heaviest of protective gear for sorcerers, and imbued with magic. Okay. So a lot of people call these dudes child kidnappers. But the way that it describes them from this robe doesn't make it sound like they're kidnapping children. It just makes it sound like they're the people that kidnapped the maidens that got turned into the squid people. And there's no indication that they were children. As a matter of fact, the the fact that you find the robes here is indication that they were not children. But uh, a lot of Dark Souls lore is open to interpretation and speculation. And since it's broken lore, they don't actually describe everything. Gauntlets of the channelers. It's the same thing as the chest. And I assume the boots do as well. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, none of the chests in here are mimics, so feel free to just grab everything. And then you can get a crystal ember. If you so decide, you can just start turning all sorts of weapons into crystal willy-nilly. Which gives them extremely high physical attack, but like I said, they just break super easy. Now we have the giant cell key, which we could go back and get that firekeeper soul with. Which, you guys already know what a firekeeper soul does, you know where it is, so I'll probably go back and get that off camera. The Blue Titanite Chunk. Or, you know what I could do is actually save Big Hat Logan. So you guys can see that. Oh, God! Yeah, none of the chests in here are mimics. It's completely safe to just open all of them willy-nilly. <laughs> uh, what an ass. The Enchanted Falcon! Which just makes it do magic damage, and it's gonna have the same description as a normal Falchion. The Crystal Ember. Ember required for weapon ascension. Crystal Ember created by Seath the Scale is handled only by the giant god's blacksmiths. And then... The Archive Tower Giant Cell Key. The Giant Cell once imprisoned countless maidens, but is now empty save for a few key persons. They struggle to uphold their sanity as the horde of mistakes writhe at a fearfully close proximity. I don't know. Why don't you just kill them all like I did? Because they're in a prison cell. So. Okay, yeah, I get it. I missed. Forget what's in that one. Prism stones. Okay, this is the ones you can drop to check the height to see if it'll kill you. Uh, you drop it off a cliff. If it breaks open early, and just makes like a ding sound and starts making sparkles, then you know you're safe. I don't know what he was doing. And if you drop it and it drops really far and make and screams, then you you got problems. You shouldn't drop down there. Blue tide night chunk. What are they staring at? What's there? You guys just hanging out? Am I interrupting something? I'm sorry. We were looking at the grass! <laughs> oh. I felt like the sidestep was enough for that, but I guess not. Blue Titanite chunks. So apparently you can farm those guys for blue Titanite chunks. That's good to know. I think. I don't know what Blue Titanite's used for. I forget. Magic. Okay. Isn't green like magic, divine, and fire? Something like that. gonna run past those guys. By the way, I know I have a ton of souls on me. It's okay. We just won't die. That's how this is gonna go down. 
You'll see. You'll all see. I don't know if how uh, my curse resistance might not be great though. Maybe I'll just eat a bunch of humanity before I go into the boss fight. Uh, you can see the snowflakes falling on this and some messages here and there. Lets you know that it's safe to walk. Even every so often a snowflake will fall where there isn't something. Then you gotta get past this guy and he's a dick. And I think I went the wrong way. I think I went too far. I don't think... Yeah, you don't need to go this whole way. I just went super crazy far for a blue titanite chunk. Oh, but I guess I manipulated uh, the first guys. Uh, whoa, what the fuck? I was acting like I was about to fall off there. Um, there's a crazy way you can go. I think it's up on that block there. And then you have to walk across an invisible thing that leads you inside those crystals up there. And at the end of the path, there's... I want to say it's a blue titanite slab? Now, if I recollect this area right, these clams are a super big pain in the ass. But, you can run past them into the boss fight. But if you run into the boss fight, you start the boss fight, and then you just keep playing. Uh, those clams will have come into the door with you before the fog closes over. And then they'll try and kill you while you're fighting the boss, which is bad, obviously. So if you come in here, you let the boss fight start like this. Wait for the fog door to close. And then you quit. And you come back in, if I did this right. Yeah, then the fog door is here. You can enter the boss room without the claims following you. This crystal is what's keeping Seath immortal and impervious to damage. So we wait for him to get close, because it'll stun him when we break it. And then we run up and do a bunch of damage before he figures out what's what. It looks like we're taking away a large segment every heavy attack. Oh shit, run away. Run away! Do not have high curse resistance. And we got him. I feel like had he put up a real fight, that would have gone very poorly for me. But he did a lot of spammy stuff that was not doing him very much good.
uh, there's quite a few things he can do. He can, like, blow a laser forward and make a bunch of that. He can spam an AoE that sends a bunch of those outward, which I feel like is what he should have done with me standing right there, but... But that was good. And then we have 139,000 souls, and I'm, I'm gonna use those. Just pour them all into vitality. And we're gonna keep doing that until we get to, like, 40 vitality. Which is the soft cap. And then I'll start putting them in decks. But now it's time to warp to the Firelink Shrine. Offer soul. It's super kindly now. And that's gonna do it for me. This has been episode 25 of a scholarly playthrough of Dark Souls Remastered. And we'll see you next week. Have a Merry Christmas. Bye bye. Thank you.